And so the day came. The people had already gathered for the spectacle of our punishment. And those who were about to die were forced to march through the arena. Ritualized violence had been a favorite entertainment of the Roman populace for centuries. Criminals, slaves, and war captives were often sent to the arena where they fought to the death before roaring crowds. All around I could hear the instruments of death. I could hear the sound of a blade being sharpened, of metal weapons heaving in the fire, the clatter of sticks, the cracking of whips. The trumpets sounded the death knell. Stretchers for the dead were brought on, a funeral parade before death. Everywhere there were wounded men, groans, gore. Nothing but danger before my eyes. We have to recognize that the Romans actually enjoyed the spectacle of seeing people die. This is one of the fundamental characteristics of Rome. They were a militaristic society from their very beginnings. And when they saw gladiatorial combats, they were seeing in many ways a symbol of their own martial prowess and enjoying the bloodlust that was always part of the national character. While most had no choice, some volunteered to enter the arena. Ancient graffiti hinted the attraction. The gladiator called Calatus is the heartthrob of all the girls. Creskins, who fights with a net and snares his female fans. In many ways, gladiators were like movie stars today. They could achieve great fame, great success, and become extremely wealthy. There was almost a show business atmosphere to what went on there, and the desire for popularity certainly must have impelled many gladiators to go out into the amphitheater and fight despite all the risks that were involved. Lutius Certus presents a band of gladiators to fight in Pompeii on May 31st. Shade will be provided. <laughs> 